<laughs> Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to explore mechanisms and we are going to look at a different type of lever today. I'm going to show you how to make a very basic grabber which you can use this mechanism for all sorts of products. So to make this all you need is some corrugated cardboard which you can get from an old cardboard box and some split pins. Okay, that's all you need in terms of materials. In terms of equipment, obviously you need a pencil, a ruler, every engineer needs to measure their products accurately, and a pair of scissors. If you have got uh, a craft knife, a cutting board and a safety ruler, that will allow you to cut with more accuracy, but you must have an adult to help. Now there's one more item I do need, because I need to pierce holes in here. So something to pierce holes. I'm going to use a kebab skewer, which has got a very, very sharp ends, and I'm going to use that to pierce holes into the cardboard. So first things first, if I pull this apart, you will see there are four identical shapes. So to make a grabber, you can make it as long as possible. This is a very short one. You need to measure and cut four rectangles. Those rectangles can be as long as you like and as wide as you like. And that's something I'd like you to experiment with. What if yours is longer? What if, if yours is thinner? So you need to measure a rectangle. Then you need to pierce and measure a hole in the middle of the rectangle and in the middle at both ends. So, taking your piece of cardboard and a ruler, you need to measure your rectangle. So I'm going to go for something a lot small, uh, longer this time. So this one was 15 centimetres, also 150 millimetres. This time I'm going to go for 20 centimetres. So I'm making a small mark on the edge of the card and what I'm using is a different tool to measure to help me measure a straight line but also help me make sure that that is a right angle. So this here is a set square. You've probably got one of these in your math sets. So I'm measuring a right angle there and then now I've got my length of my rectangle I now need to measure my width. So the width of this one was three centimetres I am going to make this one thinner, so I'm going to go for 20. As you can see, I've made a mark at 20. I can do the same the other side and measure a line all the way across. And I can check that that line is 90 degrees by using my set square here to do a quality control check. So there I've measured one rectangle. I need to now find the centre of that rectangle. So I've got to find half of 20, which is 10. Measure it either side, draw a line. There is the centre of my rectangle. Okay. It's always good to get someone to check your measurements as well. Now I need to find the centre here. So I need to measure that length. That length, if you remember, was 200 millimetres, also 20 centimetres. I need to find half, which is 10 centimetres. So here we go. Okay. And then all I need to do is measure inside the same distance. So if I measure 10 millimetres in either side, I know it's equal either side. So what you've measured there, you've got to repeat at least four times, but you can make it a lot longer, so you could make a longer uh, grabber. So I'm going to repeat those measurements really very quickly before I cut them out. So I'm measuring up in twenties and I'm 
going to find the centre again of each. But because I've already done this on the first rectangle, I can use that to help me. So I've got to find the centre, which is 10, 10 and 10. Same the other side. Here we go. Because I've got these marks on the bottom, I can use my set square to make it very quick to make a mark on every one. One there, one there, one there. Draw that line all the way up. Okay, the same here. Here, and all I need to do now is cut them out. So I'm using my uh, safety mat so that my material doesn't slip. I'm using a safety ruler and I'm using a craft knife, but I'm making sure that I only expose a small part of the blade and I'm locking it to make it safe. Now, if you are using a craft knife, you need to make sure you've been shown by an adult how to use it safely and you do need to be supervised. But it is up to your adult to make sure they support you with using it safely. Okay, final thing then, so once we've chopped them, there we go. So rather than cutting all the way through the card in one go, I'm cutting through the card once, twice, three times at least. And I should have then four identical rectangles, like so. One, two, three, four. All I need to do now is take my skewer and the sharp end, some scrap card, just to pierce a hole where those centre points are. So one hole in the middle, and one hole at either end. You could, to make things a little quicker, place both pieces of card together, and pierce a hole through two pieces of card to make the process a little quicker. Please be careful not to put the card underneath when you're piercing a hole because you will impale your skin. It's very dangerous. Okay, and there we go. So there's three, one more. Now this skewer's losing its sharp end a little. And then all you need to do is connect two pieces together like so and you've created a simple cross. Just check those move. There's one. Do the same with the other. Split pin through one piece of card and the other. And then you can connect them like so. So you should then have a levered arm. There's one. There's the other. And if I test that for you, it should work. So you can design something to go onto the end of your grabber and you can use it to pick and lift objects up. Why don't you have a go at exploring at making your own grabber, which is another example of a mechanism known as a lever. Hope you have fun, thank you for listening, bye.